Our top story back home tonight, outrage in an east side Cleveland neighborhood where an agent with the Drug Enforcement Administration shot a man this afternoon. We captured this drone video high over the scene on East 82nd Street this afternoon. The DEA says the man presented a gun as he approached agents, but the family told 3 News that's not how it happened. Marissa Sines reports. I'm just hoping and praying right now that he'd be all right. That's Trayvon Johnson's mother standing just feet away from where her 21 year old son was shot hours before. You could have paid the first. Tension and emotions made up the corner of Dexter and 82nd Street on Cleveland's east side. The DEA, Cleveland Police, the U.S. Marshals and Ohio Highway Patrol created a cloud of surveillance after the incident happened. The DEA says an agent who was sitting outside Johnson's house was there for a different operation. Two subjects approached one of the DEA agents brandishing a weapon, uh, at which time the agent felt threatened and uh, there was gunfire exchange. Johnson's wound was then treated at the scene and rushed to University Hospitals in one of the agent's vehicles. It just made me mad. It made me very mad. Johnson's family was inside the house, just feet away, watching as it unfolded. They tell a different story. As soon as he pulled up and got out, they shot him. His mother, Diana, says Johnson was coming back from the store. My son getting out the black car that he got dropped off in, and then he started walking towards, I guess, day car, but he had nothing in his hand. I see him running on the camera, running, dodging. He was shooting at him. Cleveland Police Chief Calvin Williams was asked during a press conference this evening to respond to the incident, considering today's climate on gun violence, specifically against people of color. He's asking people to stay calm and level-headed and that the results of the investigation will be shared with both the community and the family. I'm reporting outside of police headquarters. Marissa Sines, 3 News.